In this problem, we have a car that rear ends a semi. And the masses of the car and semi are shown here. Now, what happens is when the car hits the semi and they travel together, they get stuck and travel together. So, we can use conservation of momentum in this case. And we want to find the percent of the kinetic energy lost in the collision. So, to find kinetic energy lost, we can just say 1 half mv squared initially. So, we have the initial mass and the initial velocity, subtract one half final mass, the final velocity squared. So that's going to be our loss of kinetic energy. Now since we want percent loss, it's just the amount lost divided by what we started with. What we started with was one half initial mass, initial velocity squared, and that's just times 100% to make it a percentage. So to start off, we can, uh, we can actually cancel the one halves. So we're left with initial mass, final mass, initial mass, and VI is in VF squared. Now, we don't know initial velocity, we don't know final velocity, but we'll be able to figure out a relationship between them so that they cancel out. So the relationship we're going to use is we're going to use momentum. So we're going to say initial momentum has to equal final momentum conservation of momentum. So initial momentum comes from the car because only the car is moving, the semi is standing still. So we have the initial mass times the initial velocity equals final mass, final velocity. So our initial mass is just 758 vi and our final mass is the sum of these two times the final velocity. So we add this up and we get 758 vi equal to 5300 vf. Uh, so we can just uh, solve for VF by dividing 5300 over. So we can say VF equals 758 over 5300 VI. Now what we do is we take this and we plug it in here for VF. So we have MI VI squared minus MF times VF squared, so this squared. So 758 over 5300 VI squared. That's all squared. All divided by MI VI squared. So this times 100% is my percent of kinetic energy lost. So all I have to do now is plug in my masses and do some cancelling and we'll get our final answer. So initial mass is 758 VI squared. Now we look, we have a VI squared here, a VI squared here, and when we square this we have a VI squared here. So the VI squareds can divide into both and cancel out. So minus, final mass I know is 5300. I square this term here to give me 758 squared. And I have a final mass of 5,300 here and 5,300 squared on the bottom. So I'm just left with 5,300 on the bottom. VI is no longer there because I've cancelled the VI squared and the VI squared. This is all divided by... All divided by MIVI squared. Initial mass is 758. Uh, initial velocity squared has been cancelled out. So all I am left with is this. I can divide 758 into both of these terms, which leaves me 1 minus, cancel out one of those squareds, which will give me 758 over 5300. And these are all still times 100% times 100%, and that's this whole thing times 100%. So I subtract that off of 1, and that gives me... 85.7% of your kinetic energy lost.